Hello my YouTube family. Welcome back to Neeta's Indulgences. I'm getting a lot of requests to make some authentic Kerala dishes. So here I am today with some flavorful dishes from Kerala. So what are we waiting for? Let's crack on with it. Our first dish is Kerala roast chicken. This roast is marinated with traditional spices and slow cooked to perfection. So for this roast, I am using 400 grams of chicken thighs. I am using premium thighs. You can use chicken breast or chicken thighs. So let's uh, chop them into cubes. These are tender pieces, so it will cook really fast. Add the chicken pieces into a bowl for the marination. One and a half teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli, half teaspoon turmeric, two tablespoon coriander powder, one teaspoon gourmet garam masala, two tablespoon of chicken masala powder. Any store board. Slice the coconut into the chicken. This gives a good flavor. Add curry leaves, salt, give this a good mix and marinate this for half an hour. We want the masalas to be well coated. Coarse grind, a handful of shallots, lots of garlic, say about uh, 20 to 25 uh, cloves. Three, I'm using three green chilies, but you can reduce the spice and make it to one or two, but I'm making it a little spicy. Add curry leaves. So this is how we want it, like coarse ground. We'll start cooking now. Add coconut oil. Make sure you use coconut oil for this dish. Only then the flavor comes out. Add some mustard seeds. Once it starts fluttering, then we add the other ingredients. Add curry leaves, three whole red chilli. Just break this. Make sure not to burn the red chilies. At this point, I'm going to add one chopped onions. I'm going to add the coarse ground shallot mixture. Let's saute this nicely and make sure the raw smell goes. It smells really nice because the flavour of ginger and garlic is just amazing. Add some salt. Add the chicken pieces, marinate the chicken pieces to the onion mixture now. Keep sautéing the chicken for 3-4 to four minutes. Add little bit of water, you don't need too much. Because your chicken thighs will cook really fast. You don't want the chicken to be like very dry, I like it a little bit of masala. I'm going to reduce the flame to the lowest and I'm going to cook it for like uh, roughly about 5 to 6 minutes and it'll be done. Kerala chicken roast smells really amazing. I'm going to tear a few curry leaves and a little bit of pepper powder. This is freshly ground pepper powder. So all this makes a lot of difference. This Kerala roast can be served as a starter or like a main dish you can use it with, uh, I mean you can have it with Kerala Mata rice and just this and Kerala Mata rice, just have it, it's just... The Kerala chicken roast is ready. Uh, it took me around 6 to 7 minutes. Perfectly cooked now I'm going to have this. For our second dish, I'll be using a little bit of our Kerala chicken roast. So let's get started with our second recipe. Our second dish is chicken omelette. Chicken omelette is a simple and tasty dish made with eggs and leftover chicken. 
I'm going to finally chop some small onions or shallots. Let's finally chop some tomatoes. Finally chop green chilies. Crack open four eggs. Season with salt and pepper. Let's whisk the eggs. Let's add all the chopped ingredients. Your shallots, chopped shallots, then tomatoes and green chilli. Give this a good whisk. Once the pan is hot, add coconut oil. Time to add our uh, egg mixture. Okay, spread a little bit. My god, this looks so yummy. And that's a wrap. Today's dishes were really flavorful, especially the chicken roast. And our chicken egg omelette was such a simple and flavorful dish. If you enjoyed this video, then do give a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more such lovely recipes. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.